Gregory Postal, who is the interim president of the university. You'll hear briefly from the chairman of our board of trustees, David Grissom, and we'll take a few questions. So we're getting ready to start right now, and here's Dr. Postal. Thank you, John. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. The allegations in a criminal investigation being conducted by the United States Attorney's Office, Southern District of New York, and the Federal Bureau of Investigations are troubling to all of us. While the investigation is continuing and no charges have been filed against the University of Louisville or any of its employees, the allegations are serious. It is vital for this university to strictly adhere to NCAA rules and, of course, federal law. Doing to nothing would be a tacit endorsement of unethical and criminal behavior. Board Chairman Grissom and I spoke to both Athletic Director Tom Jurich and Head Men's Basketball Coach Rick Pitino this morning and informed them of the following decisions. Effective immediately, Coach Pitino has been placed on an unpaid administrative leave. Coach Pitino's employment will be reviewed at a later date. We will continue throughout this process to follow university personnel policies. Effective immediately, Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics Tom Jurich has been placed on a paid administrative leave. The leave will continue until the Board of Trustees has an opportunity to evaluate his continued employment at or before its regularly scheduled meeting on October 18th. One student athlete is being notified that he is being withheld from NCAA activities inclusive of practices and games indefinitely. This decision will protect the interests of both the student and the University of Louisville. We will work quickly to name an interim head men's basketball coach and an interim athletics director. We hope to have those announcements within 48 hours. Decisions regarding other coaches named as part of this investigation will be made by the interim athletics director. As I stated yesterday, we remain committed to cooperating fully with law enforcement and with the NCAA. It's important for all of us to remember that the University of Louisville continues to be a place where vital education takes place, where we perform cutting edge research, and where we participate in marvelous community engagement activities. While this may be a dark day for the University of Louisville, better days are ahead. Thank you. Chairman Grissom. I only want to add that the Board of Trustees unanimously support the actions taken today with respect to Coach Patino and, uh, and Tom Jury. It was unanimous. We'll, uh, we'll take just a few uh, questions. Dr. Postal, who was the player? Uh, the, the, no names were provided uh, in the criminal complaint, and so it would be inappropriate at this point for us to embellish the report as uh, submitted to us by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Dr. Dr. Postal, what, what's the, the difference program? between unpaid and paid between the two? Uh, there are different employers for the two individuals. They have different contracts. And our goal in all processes is to honor the contracts of our employees and to honor the university's HR policies. Dr. Postal, who will run the program, the basketball program today? Who is running it as we speak? Uh, as I indicated, we will be making that decision today and tomorrow, and we'll have an announcement this week about interim leadership positions. Dr. Postal, the larger picture, what are you going to do with the university, the arena, the NCAA sanctions? Do you think there'll be any ramifications happening with the death penalty or anything sits with that? You know, I don't think it's appropriate to speculate about those things. All I can tell you is that the University of Louisville is fully committed to transparency and to working with law enforcement, to working with the NCAA. We've done that all along in the issues we've been dealing with so far with the NCAA. So we will continue to cooperate uh, and, and work with them through this process. I don't think so. We can the speculate. repeat doesn't bother you. Well, it bothers fits. me a, a great deal, but I, I can't speculate at this what point on what that means. Yeah. Dr. Post, has any other senior members of the athletic staff put on probation? 
There will be a discussion about that in conjunction with the criminal complaint that we have received and announcements regarding uh, the potential for other individuals will be made by the interim athletics director. What do you know what you plead that not an outright dismissal? I'm sorry, I, I there were, I'm sorry. Why an administrative leave and not an outright dismissal? Well, so this is a typical way that universities uh, deal with a situation where there is an ongoing criminal investigation. The, the criminal investigation is not complete, and individuals at this institution have not been formally charged. So th th this is a typical response to that type of circumstance. And the unpaid leave for Coach Patino suggests a greater severity here. Why that? Uh, that, that could be your interpretation. I, again, I'm just indicating that we are following uh, our personnel policies and the individual's contracts. What are you looking for in this charges to be brought against anyone at the university as well? I have no way to know that. We have not been notified of such by the FBI or by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Have you, have you been contacted by an individual, either Coach Patino or Mr. George, to return to their duties? That as uh, an individual on an administrative leave, uh, they are not able to function in their current roles during that period of administrative leave. What contact has the school had with the NCAA since this news broke yesterday? We notified them yesterday, and uh, that was all that was necessary at this point. I'm sure there will be future conversations. Will the school conduct its own investigation considering there are two coaches alleged to be involved, assistant coaches? Uh, we're seeking advice as to the appropriate way to do that. We want to make sure that anything we do uh, is not uh, against the policies of the U.S. Attorney's Office, and so we're, we're seeking guidance about uh, the appropriate way for us to look into this matter in, in parallel to their investigation. Can you expand upon the criteria that you will use to judge whether or not Patino will remain, and can you describe the decision-making process? I, I think that's a hard thing to do because as we go forward, information will be forthcoming about the investigation. We'll be learning more in the days and weeks ahead, and that will help inform future decision making. Dr. Postal? Has the FBI been on the hotel's campus We believe they have. Uh, they have not made direct contact with our office, but we understand they have been on campus. Was Dr. George offered the opportunity to keep his job if he were to fire Rick Patino? That, that was not a discussion that took place. Dr. Postal, I'm just curious, your, your initial reaction when you found the news, anger, embarrassment, just where were you coming from when you learned of all this occurring? I, I would say that I was more angry than embarrassed. Obviously, embarrassment is part of it as well. Uh, but I think people who have watched what the University of Louisville has been busy doing in calendar year 2017 will understand that we have been working day and night, committed to make sure this place is a wonderful place for our students and our faculty and staff, and we're making a tremendous amount of progress. And when something like this happens, uh, it makes me angry that we have more work to do to get where we're going to get. Uh, it's not going to prevent us from getting where we want to get, but it's another stumbling block, and yes, I was angry about it. Dr. Dr. Postal, did you get to talk to the basketball team, the current team that is supposed to start practice in a couple days, <laughs> and inform them, or who has spoken to those guys? I have not had a chance to do so yet. We're just working through the details of this as it's a actively emerging story. Are you guys Dr. Postal, the names of the assistant coaches that were also mentioned in the indictment? Again, I, I can't embellish on the criminal complaint that we have received because that's uh, the role of the U.S. Attorney's Office to provide that level of detail. But are you guys aware of those names? Of the we, we have information about that, yes. What are you looking for in the interim head coach for basketball and for an AD? I think we're looking for someone with integrity, someone with a knowledge of the support, uh, excuse me, a knowledge of the sport, uh, someone who can uh, have the respect of the players uh, and, and, and help us move along. We've got talented players that hasn't changed and so there's no reason this team can't have a good season. Dr. Postal, to be completely clear, are you and Chairman Mason leaving open the possibility that Tom George and Rick Pitino could return to their job at some point? An administrative leave is an administrative leave. It, it is not a dismissal from a permanent position. So that is one of the possible outcomes, yes. Did Dr. either man offer to resign? No, they did not. You know. Chairman Grissom, did, did you meet with the Board of Trustees privately to vote? You said that the Board of Trustees was unanimously behind this decision. Have you had a meeting in the last 24 hours? We have not. I called everyone on the board within the last 24 hours to get their, their position on it, and 
news of telephonic conversations. No movie. What was your reaction to hearing the news? Because covering board of trustees meetings and foundation meetings, you knew you were starting to get out from the cloud of the situation with the foundation, and now this. Well, I, I came home to my you wife. To the I'm sorry. I came home last night and said once again to my wife, you can't make this up. So it was terrible disappointment. I really felt like we were on a, the trajectory that was positive and, and could take the university to the next level. So like Dr. Postal, uh, I'm disappointed. There's a little bit of anger. Uh, it's not a happy day for the university. Dr. Postal, there are several students here and watching, and they want to see leadership from you in this moment. And a lot of them said that leadership means cleaning house. What do you say to those students? Well, I, I think it should be obvious that that's what we're doing. I mean, we've taken an action sufficient to bring a whole room full of media people together to make a very clear statement that we're not going to tolerate what we have learned about. So my, my answer to them would be we are doing everything in an appropriate way and we'll continue to do so as we learn more about the situation. Do you know when you want to have a full-time, a permanent AD in place? Do you, do you know? The, the, this, well, there'll be an interim appointment right, made but this do you week. Know, like, will that interim be? Set, would you like to have one for the whole school year? Or for well, until there's resolution to the current situation, one way or the other. Yeah. Thank you all. That's all we have time for today. Thank you.